So you guys have told me so many times that you have a lot of trouble with stir frying rice noodles. They can stick together in the pan, they can clump up everywhere. Well, I have the perfect technique and intriguingly, it doesn't involve actually cooking the noodles. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna show you how that works and we're gonna make Singapore noodles. So I'm gonna be using my Marion's Kitchen Singapore noodle kit for this recipe. Keep watching even if you can't get a hold of my kit because the technique for actually preparing your vermicelli noodles is usable for any rice noodle dish. So I'm gonna grab my noodles out and everything else in the kit. So we've got curry powder, baby corn, Singapore noodle sauce. So here we are, rice vermicelli noodles notoriously hard to cook because they're so easy to overcook. Look how thin they are. They're tiny, tiny little baby noodles. Uh, so they need a little bit of love and some treatment before you start stir frying them, but don't boil them. So the mistake is a lot of people boil these noodles and then they get soggy when you're stir frying them. So what you need to do is just soak them in some room temperature water. Now I know you're probably thinking, Marion, room temperature water is not going to soften these noodles. Well, come back in 10 minutes and I'll show you. So now for the Singapore noodles stir frying part. What do you call this magical wok? It's called wok. Oh, the wok itself? <laughs> Funny you asked, Dax. No. <laughs> this is my Mako wok. I designed it myself, funnily enough. <laughs> hot wok, really important so that your ingredients don't stick. Then add the oil and then now stir fry your onion and the curry powder. Now I know a lot of you can't get a hold of my products, I'm really sorry, it's hard to ship them all over the world because they're food products. Um, but if you can't get a hold of my Singapore noodle kit, you can also use my Singapore noodle recipe from scratch on my website. So head there and check it out if you'd like to. And now I'm gonna do like a protein combo here. I've got Chinese barbecue pork and prawns. Now my prawns have almost cooked through here, so I'm gonna go in with my vegetables. I've got some baby corn, carrot, cabbage. And now to do the omelet part, I'm just gonna simply move all the ingredients to the side. I might just add a little bit more oil here just so my egg can cook nicely. Now I have a really good wok here, which means I'm really confident with making something like an egg omelette in the wok just on the side of my stir fry because my patina and that coating on the wok means that it's, it's a really good non-stick surface. But if you're not so confident with your wok at home or you've got a smaller pan, you could make the omelette first in a separate pan. That's probably the cheats way of doing it or the easy way to do it. So just break that omelette up and mix it through. And now let's come back here and have a look at our noodles because I promised you that your room temperature water would have softened up the noodles. And well, here we go. Just like magic, look at that. So if you had to put these into hot water, these noodles would be really soggy by now before I even get them into the pan. Now, just while my Asian mum is not looking, I'm gonna chop my noodles. <laughs> Asian folklore says that's very bad luck, but anyway, I'm tempting tempting my Asian ancestors to come after me. <laughs> just makes it a lot easier to handle noodles when they've just been shortened a little bit. So these softened noodles go straight into my pan. Sauce goes on top. So toss all of this together and those noodles will magically soften up and become just the right texture without clumping up and getting all sticky. Okay, some spring onion here. And just look at that. I mean, it's just noodle perfection right there. So now that you know, you know. You can be using this technique for any rice noodle stir fry dish that you love to cook at home. And now you're going to get the perfect noodle texture every time. Oh, when you have the perfect noodle texture, it really is just joyful. It's a joyful thing. Oh, so good. 
Now, if you guys have any other burning cooking questions or problems that you'd love me to solve for you, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to help out. I love making these videos for you guys and I wanna know what it is that you wanna watch. So yeah, help me out, let me know. Hmm.